Welcome to QNOW Videos. I'm going to show you how to use a spirometry machine today. And for that I have the lovely assistant Derek. Say hi Derek. Hi Derek. <laughs> so he's going to play with me. So um, we're using the Welsh Allen machine. We have two machines in the department. So the first one I'll try is the Welsh Allen um, and get it going. So first we turn it on with the on off button. Give it a second and warm up, and then it says there's these five buttons um, that tell you, and it's got a set of lungs, so you can't miss it. And you press spirometry, and then it's, what it does is a self test, and just make sure it has this tubing attached to it. Um, then it asks you to put in patient details, so I'll just bang in some details quite quickly because um, it doesn't like to miss anything out. Then it asks for the patient's date of birth. We'll make it up, Derek. It won't tell everyone. Is that right? 1987, okay? Oh, yeah. So we'll go. Things to put in, though, is a patient's weight and height. We really, they make it more accurate if you can get those details. Gender, put that in. And race, because um, different races have different problems. So we put in Caucasian, and then we press done. Then it comes to FEV screen and the number one next to it saying this is like the uh, pre-treatment FEV that we're testing for. So FEV stands for forced vital capacity and what that is we want a person to blow out as hard and as fast and as long as they can to get a good accurate reading. So when I set this up for Derek I'll just uh, keep encouraging him to go as long and as hard as he can. Um, until he's totally out of breath. We need the uh, tubing that goes to the Welsh on the machine that's being tested but then we also need a disposable mouthpiece so it's only for one single person use and then after that person's finished with it it gets discarded. Do not mix between people. Um, you have a little connector here that's got flanged wings and it goes into a little port at the bottom of the mouthpiece, it goes, you put it on straight and then twist it 90 degrees till it clicks and then it sits securely. So the wings go in the same direction as the mouthpiece. So on the screen, it has a start button. I won't press start until I've told Derek what I'm doing. So I'll say, Derek, grab the mouthpiece. What I want you to do is make a nice seal around the outside of the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good, so take it out your mouth, because what I want you to do is take a big breath in and blow out as hard as fast as you can when I, when I tell you. So that's good practice, well done. So we press start, the machine's ready to go. So now I go, okay Derek, big breath in, tube around and blow out as hard and as fast as you can. Go, blow, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. And then press stop when you're finished. Well done. Say, so good boy, Derek. Well done. That was good. So we review our results, and we can either accept or reject it. If it doesn't look like they've reached their targets, we can reject it and do it again. But if he has um, achieved it, we can press accept the effort. So I've said, yes, we'll accept the effort. We can either say the test is done there, and it'll print out a form, or uh, if we want to do a post effort, we can do that as well. So I can press... Um, test done and do you want to post effort? Yes I do so I've got to press enter for yes so that's this arrow button. Now we've got post force vital capacity number two. So what I'm going to do I've given Derek say a nebulizer and we want to see how effective it is. So I'm going to press start again and get Derek to do the same process. So in your own time Derek, big breath in and blow out as hard and as fast as you can. Go. Blow, 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 keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. Now Derek has performed his second spirometry. Um, I can accept that effort if, if it looks uh, like a nice continuous line, or if I think he could have done a better effort, I can reject it. So I'm going to accept it because Derek did a fantastic job. So I press accept, and then it says, on the right hand corner it will say test done so I'll press test done gives me a beautiful graph and it prints it out for me 
and then you tear this off, give it to the doctor to review, and I'll have pre and post tests on it. They have a sexy graph down the bottom that shows the pre and post. And these dots are the predicted markers of where they should be at that um, for their weight and size and age. So that's about it for how to do a spirometry. Hope that helps you out. Ask if you've got any questions and we'll see you on next QNOW video. Take care.